Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Pelfini, your favorite chef and Fennec consultant. I'm coming to you live today from my kitchen. So I'll just wait for a few minutes to see if um, anybody's going to join. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Let me make sure I'm live here. Oh, there I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Great. Well, you guys, happy Thanksgiving week. The holidays are finally here. What a crazy year we've had, huh? So I'm going to talk today about how to make it the holidays fun. I know a lot of us are going to be not doing the usual holidays this year and need some activities with family and kids and stuff. And just to kind of more bring more joy into your into your home through your kitchen. Stop that. So we're going to talk about my family is in the background having breakfast right now. So um, we're still we're just like getting our day started here. I actually got up at seven o'clock this morning to make some pretzel dough um, because I made a last minute judgment call last night that we're gonna make homemade pretzels. Um, and the reason I'm gonna do that is um, I don't know if you saw me you might have seen me post earlier this week that um, we I just bought a whole bunch of stuff for the holidays to do some holiday to do some holiday projects with um, my with my family. So one of those projects is making homemade pretzels. And Pepper Chef has two fantastic things, three actually, that you can buy to make pretzels really easy to make for you. One is we have an ultimate soft pretzel making kit. We have a soft pretzel making set. Um, and those are the two things, did I say three? I meant two. Two things that you can buy that will help you make these pretzels yourself. I um, made my pretzel dough this morning myself. I didn't buy it from Pampered Chef um, because I forgot. I thought I ordered the ultimate soft pretzel making kit, but I, offered, I ordered the soft pretzel making set, which is a step-by-step -step mat in the pretzel form. So it's a step-by-step -step mat that shows you everything you need to do to make the pretzels with the dough. And then the form, which helps you easily shape the form. Oops, looks like I spilled my coffee. One second, let me just grab a towel. And I've not had my coffee yet. So I'm like, I need coffee. <laughs> okay. So, let me just clean that up. Okay, great. Um, and actually, um, and what I'm using here, which I'll show you um, in a second too, is I'm using our pastry mat to roll my pretzel dough on. And um, pastry mat is really cool because it has all kinds of measurements on it, which I'm not using because I don't need it to make the pretzels right now. But you can use either side of it because it's silicone on both sides. And this is great. For your pie making, which you're going to be making a lot of pies, I'm sure this week coming up, um, apple pies or fresh wood pies with pie crust that you're going to make yourself or buy or whatever. And this will allow you to be able to measure and be able to roll it out on the perfect size. And the great thing about this mat is that it rolls up super nicely. So if you were going to do it, here's a great gift giving idea, you guys. So if you know someone who's a baker who makes a lot of bread or maybe makes a lot of pies, you would get them this pastry mat. Let me grab one more thing to show you how you can bundle this up. Super cute. You could do something like give them this pastry mat tied up in a bow with the baker's roller. And there you go, tie that up in a bow and it's a beautiful gift for your baker in your life. So there's holiday gift idea number one today. Well, number two, number one would be the pretzel making kit. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this back over. And so as I was saying, the pretzel making kit um, comes two ways. The ultimate, the, the pretzel making set, which is what I bought, which is just the uh, instructions. Gives you a nice step-by-step -step what you should do. Um, and as soon as you know, have your own dough, you know how to make your dough, and then has the form. And then we have the ultimate pretzel making kit, which is going to include everything you need. It's going to include the... Um, the pretzel dough mix that Pamper Chef makes, which I've heard is fantastic. Like I said, I just ordered, um, I meant to order this, but I ordered the other one. It also comes with a crimper. So if you're going to make pretzel bites, it's going to come with a nice little crimper that you can just roll those off on, which will be fantastic for that. And then it's also going to come with a silicon basting brush. If you don't have one of those and you need one, and you need one of those, that this is a great kit to buy. Um, and, um, so I love it because it's just a great thing that you can do with your kids or by yourself. Like, you know, for me, I'm going to make the pretzels myself. I'll probably have Adriana help me, um, quote unquote, decorate them later. We're going for today kind of an Auntie Annie's kind of pretzel mix. So that's what we're going to use. Um, let me see if anyone's, if anyone's here. I don't see anyone here yet. Okay. Well, I'll just keep We're here. They're here. My family. My family's in the background. They're listening to me. They're like, oh, all mom does is do his talk. 
Um, and then um, before I get started with the pretzels, the pretzels are going to take about um, probably 35, 40 minutes to make by the time we roll them out and then we also hey, put them in the oven. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the recipe I used this morning to make the um, to make the pretzels um, because I did make my own pretzels and I did use my um, my mixer, my KitchenAid with the, with the hook, um, which is something I invested in six or five or six Thanksgivings ago on like a, you know, Black Friday sale. If you ever have a chance to get a KitchenAid stand mixer, I highly recommend it, just even for the holidays and making doughs. It's just such a great thing to have handy. Uh, it's hands-free most of the time, and it just makes things a lot easier for you in the kitchen. So that will be my recommendation for easier holiday baking. Adriana, go sit by Daddy, because Daddy's having breakfast with you. Oh, but I just want to help <laughs> I know. So here's the recipe I used this morning. Um, I used a recipe for kind of um, that's adapted from the Food Network, and um, it had a cup of milk in it, five tablespoons of unsalted butter, actually only two tablespoons for the dough. Yeah. Michael, can you please grab her? I'm live, and she's grabbing everything. One second, honey. Dad's gonna get you. Come on, mom's um, Come on. We're gonna do, so it's one cup hey, listen, of milk. Listen, do you want to go help me outside the back? Two here? tablespoons of butter hey, for the dough. Three tablespoons of light brown sugar. A package of yeast. Two and a half cups of flour. Um, a teaspoon of fine salt, baking soda, and pour salt. And so all I did was I took the flour and the salt and the yeast, put it in the stand mixer, mixed it, and then in the microwave, I took the milk and the butter and melted it until it was almost melted. So it was pretty much melted, not boiling. Very important, not boiling, because you don't want to boil the milk. You just want it to warm it up to melt the butter. And then I added to it the, the three tablespoons of brown sugar, and then I mixed that into the mix, and we got our dough. I made the dough. Um, I started at seven o'clock this morning. The dough was done at seven. By the time I was done, it was like around seven thirty, and let it sit for an hour. Dough. And my dough doubled in size. So that's our dough. So this is our starting base today. Is the dough. If you're going to use the Pampered Chef set, you would make the dough according to directions. I don't have that dough. I don't have that set with me. I don't have that set with me. So. Um, I don't have this set with me, so I can't really um, speak to the dough itself, and I know some people have made it. So if you have made it, please chime in and, um, and share your experience. Okay, so let's go ahead. So we're going to take, we're going to, so per the direction, look at my dough. It's just like so, like, oh, so gushy. These pretzels are going to be so good, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the bowl. Um, oh, and I, I put oil in the bowl and let it sit. So it's kind of, it's just kind of like what you do to make dough, except for this has sugar in it. Um, which is going to make it a little bit sweeter than if you were making a pizza dough or something like that. So following my directions here, it says make the dough. I'm going to, um, I preheated my oven to 400. Now I'm going to divide my dough into eight pieces. I'm just going to kind of put it up into, um, into kind of like a log here. And I'm going to divide it into eight pieces on my pastry mat. And I'm going to use, if you guys ever heard me talk before, you know how much I love Michael Simon. You know how much I love this $10 tool. Not that he ever recommended the Pampered Chef one, but this was like my inspiration for starting this business. Um, I saw him using it when he was doing 50 Days of Cooking and Shelter in Place. 52 Days of Cooking and Shelter in Place. And he had this scraper, and I was like, what is that? I need that. And this is one of the handiest tools I have in the kitchen. So I highly recommend this product. It's $10. It's great to give as a hostess gift. It's great to put in stockings. I mean, it's $10, and it, 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 it is, I call it the, crumb, the counter cleaner because it also is great at cleaning crumbs, it's great at cutting things easily, and it's great at organizing stuff on your cutting boards when you're cutting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna try to cut it, cut my dough a little bit, and see it worked great. I didn't even know it would work. Um, just so you guys know, I'm making this for the first time. I've never made these before. So you are really seeing a live experience like you would have yourself if you were to make these, these uh, pretzels yourself. So I'm gonna divide it into eight pieces. So I'm gonna do two fours, one, two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, four, and see how easy that was to do with this, yeah, I don't need to get the knife or anything, and wow. by the way, on the pastry mat, you don't want to use a knife, it specifically says on here in the corner, um, no knives, okay, all right, so now we have our eight pieces, so per the instructions, we're going to wow. take each of those pieces, and we're going to roll them, and we're gonna make them as long as the ruler on the mat. How handy is that? So it gives you the measurements for you. And so we're gonna roll each of them as long as the ruler on the mat. So I'm gonna put that right up here. That's silly. Move my, dose, move my dough aside here. 
And just roll them one at a time. I'm eating a bone like a dog. You are. You're eating a bone like a dog, yes. Toddlers, they always have the interesting, interesting ways of doing things. So I'm just gonna roll it on the mat. And you see the pastry mat is just so easy to work with. So you could certainly do this on a cutting board or on a, on a wood board if you want, but the pastry mat is gonna give you that um, easy movement, as you can see on here, and no sticky, no sticky. I do have oil on my dough because um, that was how uh, that was um, that was how I got it, how I greased the bowl to get it to rise. I used um, olive oil actually. Okay, so there's one. See how easy that is, you guys. I'm just gonna roll these out on the mat, and we're gonna get these into eight kind of logs. They're probably gonna shrink up a little bit, so I'll probably have to roll them a little bit more before I put them on the stand. Um, I don't really know because, like I said, I'm doing this for the first time with you. <laughs> I'm sure my mom's going to join in a while. She always joins. Where are you, Mom? Okay, here's two. So while I'm doing that, let's just talk a little bit about Thanksgiving, some other Thanksgiving ideas. Um, there are just so many things that you can do to make the holidays a lot more fun. Um, with baking in the kitchen. And a lot of it, as I've learned the hard way, you guys, is prep. Um, the key to a peaceful Thanksgiving is prep the night before. And prep, I feel like the most time I've spent on prep on anything um, has been um, on chopping my herbs. Chopping my herbs and getting those all prepared for the night before. Oh, somebody's on here. Let me see who she said. I gotta look at my iPad because I can't see that far. <laughs> Let's see who's there. Hi, Catherine. Catherine, she's such a great supporter of me. I'm so grateful for her. Talking about things that we're grateful on Thanksgiving. Catherine was one of my host clients and friends, and she's a big supporter of my business, and she gets my name out there, and she really helps me a lot. You gotta be grateful for people that support you in what you do, especially as a woman in business. Um, it's not always easy going out there, and you really need someone to help you out. We've got a lot going on in our house today. We're getting some yard work done before the holidays start. So, bing, bing, goes the doorbell. So, so we're rolling these out. And I'm getting a little bit faster at it because I'm realizing that I can roll from the center out. And that goes a lot quicker. So, I got four. I got four more to go. Okay. So, um, so back to prep. And actually, it's kind of funny that Catherine joined now because I'm talking about prep because she's like, you've got to work on your prep. And I have worked on my prep. And I will say the thing about Thanksgiving and prep is getting those herbs done. And we have several tools to help that help you with that. First of all, we have um, put all, get buy our, all your herbs in advance and put them in a herb saver so they stay all fresh um, in the refrigerator um, for Thanksgiving. For example, I have cilantro in here, and the cilantro has been in here for about, gosh, I think two weeks. I kind of forgot about it. But everything stays fresh because there's a water receptacle down here. And so it stays nice and fresh. Um, and then you want to get, if you can get the herb um, stripper, will make easier, light work of stripping your herbs. Um, and also, I would say the manual food processor is my number one way that I'm going to prepare my herbs because I know that I can pop them all in there and just mix them together, like for my turkey or something like that. That'll be really simple, okay? So those are some good herb ones. Um, I know some people that freeze their herbs in advance and, do, um, and have um, herb trays and do that. So that's another um, way that if you're going to make like a turkey soup the next day and you want to get some more herbs ready, take whatever herbs you have left over and freeze them in an herb tray and get them ready to go for the next day when you just start to make that turkey soup. So, okay, we got two more to go. And then we're just going to roll them into the pretzel situation. So I'm excited about this dough because, like I said, this is going to be kind of an Auntie Annie's version. Um, and I love Auntie Annie's pretzels. And I don't really go to the mall, like, ever, so I don't really ever get Annie's Indian's pretzels. Um, but, I, but I really do love them. And we're going to make two sauces for them. Sauces. We're just going to make a cinnamon and sugar topping, because I think that's, like, the classic, the nicest. And then we're going to make a chocolate sauce. I wanted to make a cheese sauce, but um, turns out I don't have enough cheese. I was going to make that in the blender, and there probably isn't enough time anyway. So if I make that later, I'll post that up so you can see how that goes. We have a great nacho cheese recipe that you can make 100% from start to finish in the deluxe cooking blender. So, okay, here's my last one. So we see the beauty of the pastry mat. I can move it around easily, nothing sticking to it. Um, my size is perfect, it looks like, because um, I'm using it as my guide, um, which is 
the handiness of the pretzel mat. And now that we're all done with my rolls, we're gonna shape them. Okay. I literally just decided to make pretzels like last night. And actually my husband and I had a date night last night and we were out a little bit late. So I broke up this morning and I made the dough. But see, but that just shows you, like you can make the dough like right away and you could get this done. Okay, but first I need some coffee. Hmm. Okay, so I've got my pretzels made. So the next step is we're gonna lift the dough into the pretzel form one rope at a time with the center at the bottom and follow the arrows to crisscross. Okay, so this is like spatial learning stuff, not my forte, but I have a pretzel form to help me with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do exactly what it said. And I'm going to loop around. Hang on a second. It's showing me how to do this. I'm gonna go up around this way up around this way <laughs> okay <laughs> okay and wrap it around like that so it makes a so it makes a form why is this so hard for me oh i see we're going to start like this and go around like that, and go like that, and like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me start again. This is why um, you go live on things that you know how to do. <laughs> Catherine's probably watching going, oh my gosh, what is this girl doing? Okay. So we're going to shape it. We're going to lift the dough onto the pencil form one rope at a time with the center at the bottom and follow the arrows. Oh, I see. Okay, center at the bottom, follow the arrows and go around like that. Go around like that. Like that. Okay, got it. You're going to crisscross. Okay. Okay, so there's my pretzel. Okay. <laughs> okay so there's my first one okay so what we're gonna do is that we're now we're gonna take so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it and we're gonna dip it into um baking soda and it's four cups of water and two tablespoons of baking soda okay so we're gonna dip that in there and mix it and this is what's gonna make the pretzel um in here I'm gonna move this because I'm gonna move my, I'm gonna do this on my stone bar pan um, to make these. So I'm gonna grab my pan. And I've already oiled my pan. You can use a cookie sheet or whatever. I just decided to use my stone, stone bar pan because that's what I wanted to use to see how that would go. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just stir this around real quick. So it's got that. This is just baking soda and water. Sorry, four cups of water and four tablespoons of baking soda. Microwave on high for five minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this on high for five minutes. And I've got it in a big bowl here because I know when you microwave stuff, it tends to boil over. So I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this for five minutes. And we're gonna keep making our pretzels. So yeah, that's all we do. So then we're gonna, so then what we're gonna do is once the water's ready, we're gonna dip it into that mixture. And brush it with eggs and water. So let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting. Okay, so we're gonna take um, egg and a tablespoon, egg yolk and a tablespoon of water, and this is gonna be our, um, it's gonna be our uh, wash, okay? I'm just gonna pour that in there. These are prep cups. Here's another great holiday holiday idea. Buy, buy a set of these prep cups. There's six in a set. Um, and you can fill them with candy. You can fill them with hot cocoa. You can fill them with so many things. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this and I'm gonna take my uh, mini whipper, which is super handy for this. I'm just gonna whip it. And there's my wash, all done. Um, mini whipper is really great too for the ceramic egg cooker, for prep bowls, um, for your coffees. I actually even use it in my nonstick cookware to make eggs if I don't wanna get a bowl out. So there's another tip for you too, to avoid getting another bowl out or more mess. Um, because of the nature of our nonstick, you actually can use um, a product like this in it without scratching it. Okay, so we got that. So that's our egg wash. I'm just going to take a silicone basting uh, brush and then go ahead and do that with it. Um, brush it on top. Okay, so we're about three more minutes left on the microwave. Oh. Pretzels say they take about 20 minutes to cook from this recipe, so um, that's going to work out good. So while we're waiting for that, let's talk about some more holiday stuff. So I love this full out page right here because this is all like your fun family kids stuff, which is great because we all need that for the holidays, whether it's our nieces and nephews coming over, our grandchildren coming over, um, our own kids in our own kitchen, and even just like fun family projects. This is, these are really great ideas. So we have the pretzels, um, which is one of them. Then we have a, um, a um, kids booking, a kids baking set, which is super cute um, for a gift for kids to get them started in the kitchen. Um, and also we have a couple things that I bought here that I just love that I just got is we have gingerbread houses. Now the gingerbread houses could be done with candy or they could be do, be done with, um, with dough um, for, for gingerbread. I'm probably going to do candy this year because I think that sounds really fun. These are silicone and what's great about them they can go in uh, in the oven and into the refrigerator and the freezer. So that's our gingerbread house uh, uh, molds. And then it also comes as a set. So I went ahead and got the set, which has a, um, has a pastry bag with some tips on it. Um, but for that purpose, you also could use our, um, our fantastic easy decorator on your houses. Um, that would be really great with icing, piping. So these three together, I mean, these two together, the kit and the easy decorator, what a great gift to give kids for the holidays to make their gingerbread houses themselves. So there's that. Um, and then I think another great gift that I have that I love is an ice cream maker. I just think it's like the ultimate fun thing to make ice cream with your kids, to know what ingredients are going into ice cream. There's, you know, three main ingredients. It's, you know, two cups of cream, a cup of milk, a cup of sugar, half a cup of sugar, depending on how much sugar you want to use and vanilla, and that's it. And the ice cream maker will make you beautiful ice cream that will be healthy for your family. You can add things like then mints into it for a mint flavor, um, whatever you want to make sure that you make sure that you personalize it. So I think that's a great gift too. Other thing I think is great um, to give or to receive is our numbers and cake pan. That's super fun for the holidays. I'm gonna use this probably later this week or the week after to make a fun cake with it. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to do it. I just haven't had a reason to make a cake, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I think that'll be really fun because you can make any letter of the alphabet or any number of the alphabet, and you probably can do shapes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get creative with it, and you'll see what I'm gonna do with it. Um, a baking, you know, elevate your baking. We've got all the great baking pans. Anything you need to make, donuts, waffles, cookies, muffins, beautiful pans we have for baking. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about, um, I mean, obviously our whisks are good. We have a beautiful marble roller um, that is amazing, rolling pin that's amazing. Um, and then the other thing that I think is really cool for the holidays too is just the snack bar making kit, set, snack, snack bar making set. It comes with the, with the molds, which again can go, the, the mold part of it can go in the refrigerator or in the refrigerator, freezer, or the oven. And a spatula for easy removal. I've made yogurt bars in this before, but I'm planning on making like a chocolate mint bar for the holidays because I think that'll be really fun um, with some nuts on it um, and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our um, water out of the microwave. And it's boiling, so we want to be careful with that. And we'll just stir it up. And we're going to dip our pretzel in there and put it on the rack. Okay. I'm probably gonna make just three of these because I actually do wanna make these with my daughter and she's outside doing yard work with her dad. So I'm gonna go ahead, so all it says here, according to the mat, is I'm gonna dip it, remove the bottom of the pretzel form and use the handle 
to dip the pretzel into the baking soda mix. Okay, so we're gonna remove the bottom. It just fell out. And we're gonna dip it in. And then we're just gonna slide it off and put it on the pan for a few seconds and then put the pretzel on the sheet pan. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now my pretzel's coming apart so I must not put it together right. Okay, uh, oh my goodness you guys, my pretzel came apart because I'm not putting it together the right way. So, um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna make it myself right now and get it on there. Okay, that won't be the pretty one. Same effect. Just, I didn't make it right. And now I see why I didn't make it right. Okay, put the mold back on. And start again, this one. Oh my gosh, I'm like really struggling with this. I don't know why, because I just did it. Yeah, goes like that. So, yeah, goes like that. So there we go with that one. And I'm just gonna take the bottom out, and I'm gonna dip it. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna place it on the cookie tray. Slide it off. That worked out a lot better, okay. It's helping me easier to think about it than it is to follow the mold, but. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ever gonna take out the bottom that time? Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Slide it off, and then put the mold back in. These are really big ones. Mom's cool out. There we go. You take the bottom out. There, now that's a good one. I finally got a good one. Um, you know, um, that brings up a point that I think is like important to think about when you're in the kitchen. Um, I have big trouble with spatial learning. So um, true confession, I can't do math in my head. I can't line numbers up. I can't read maps. I can't visually see things like that. Although however, I'm really visual, but spatial is a big challenge for me. So this is like a challenge for me to do this live for sure you guys. So thanks for being patient with me on this. <laughs> okay. Um, and really, it's not that hard if you follow the if you follow the instructions. You just go around this way, and down, and around. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> this is like, oh my goodness. This is like the worst uh, demo ever I've done. That's kind of how it would work. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and dip it in. One, two, three, four, five. And these are gonna take 20 minutes to cook. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna count all sizes. I'm gonna leave three out so Audrey and I can make them later. So I'm gonna put these in the oven after I baste them. Hi, honey. You're going home, Deepa? You're going home, Deepa? Okay. Oh, really. See, I see a comment by Catherine. Love your hairband. <laughs> oh, the hairband's for my aunt. She got that for me. I love it. Okay, so here's my, so now I'm going to put my wash on top. Just spread it nicely on top. My pretzels are not going to be perfect, but honestly, you guys, I don't care. My, what I strive for in the kitchen is to enjoy my time in the kitchen and not to get stressed out. And as you can see, I got a little stressed out um, because of, um, something silly um, that um, is just the way I learn. So, um, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we got our egg wash on here. Now we're gonna pop them in the oven. The oven's already been preheated to 400 degrees, so it's ready to go. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and make some of our toppings so we won't be wasting any time. I'm doing this on the stone bar pan because I really wanna see um, if it sticks on here with this egg wash. Um, but I did oil it with, um, I did oil it with um, canola oil. So I'm gonna put these in and we're gonna let them go for 20 minutes, keeping our eye on them. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these three over here to do with Adriana for later. I'm gonna put them in the bowl and cover them actually so they don't dry out. The one thing about Reno, the dried out, the dry, the dryness is a big challenge for sure. Okay, so we've got our pretzels in the oven. I'm sure they're gonna taste great. The recipe was really awesome. My execution on making the pretzels not so great, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna make some of our we're gonna make our toppings. Let me just get all this pretzel stuff out of the way. Hi, mommy. Hi, we're Home Depot. Hi, Depot. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this pastry mat out of the way. See how easy that is? You just pick it up, clean it up, and you're done. And I'm going to make toppings. So for one, so I'm going to use our coating trays, which I thought this would be a really great thing to do for this because they're nice and deep and they'll be great for coating the pretzels. So one recipe is super easy. There's two that I'm making. One is just cinnamon sugar and just cinnamon and sugar. And the other one is just chocolate and cream. And those are going to be your dippings. Cinnamon sugar, three tablespoons of butter, three, three, quart, three tablespoons of butter, three fourths a cup of sugar, and ground in a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that with the sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and melt the butter in the microwave and then mix it all together. And then add the cinnamon. So I'll just pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna use my Carinche cinnamon, which is just fantastic. It's a special seasonal um, thing that we offer at Pamper Chef. And I'm gonna use a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So I'm gonna get my tablespoon out here. And just pour a tablespoon in there. And then butter, and that's going to be my one topping for my cinnamon and sugar pretzels. That's it. Super easy. Here's my butter. And these prep cups are great because they have the lids on them. You can pop them in the microwave, um, keep them in the fridge, whatever you need to do with them. They're really, it's just so easy to use. Here's my, I was looking for my spatula. I just lost it. Put on my spatula. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. And the pretzels are going to be in there about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. So there it is underneath there. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up with my little skinny, mini skinny spatula. And then I'm going to put it in my dipping tray, and that's going to be perfect for my pretzels. And this is going to give me that Auntie Annie's cinnamon and sugary. Oh, so good. I can't wait to have this one. It's actually my favorite, the cinnamon and sugar one. And the key really is to have good spices. Like, you know, our cinnamon, the crunchy cinnamon, is a special kind of cinnamon that comes out just around the holidays. And I'm going to tell you, I have other cinnamons, and there's just no comparison. The cinnamon is just so delicious. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to put that in the coating tray. And these coating trays come in a set of three. 
So if you were gonna make fish or French toast or whatever, they're just super handy for that. So that all that was was butter, sugar, and cinnamon rice. Simple, right? Okay, there's that. And then my next one I'm gonna make is gonna be a chocolate one. And this is just gonna be um, bittersweet chocolate, finely chopped, except I'm going to go ahead and use dark chocolate peppermint bark because I think that would be really fun for the holidays. Um, I probably got this a while ago too, I'm sure. Maybe even last Christmas. <laughs> I always have some kind of, I lived in San Francisco for nine years, so I always have some kind of Ghirardelli um, chocolate around the house. So it says we're going to do uh, 145 grams of chocolate. So I'm going to get out my new digital scale, which I'm super excited about because I just got it in time for the holidays. And this is a digital scale that measures grams, pounds, and ounces. Um, and it's just fantastic. So like, for example, if I wanted to measure something out, I'll put it, I'll zero it out. You can't see this. I'll just show you later. I actually did a little demo on this with the Easter bunny that we had around. Yeah. An Easter bunny. Um, so for example, this cup weighs 6.74 ounces, 0.42 pounds and 1.92 grams. Okay. So now once I put food in here, I would subtract and I won't get paper for this. So <laughs> subtract whatever the weight of the cup is from what's put in. And it's, it, it's amazingly accurate. I tested it a bunch of times. So I was just like kind of blown away. Um, and just measuring it again, same exact measurements, 0 0.42, 192, 6.77. Okay. So if I threw this chocolate bar in there, for example, I know that it's 0.42 pounds. And so let's go ahead and zero it out, 0.42 pounds. And we're going to go ahead and weigh that bar, and that bar is 0.16 pounds, okay? So I'm going to, so again, going to put the cup on here, and it's 0.42, and I'm going to add the bar in it, which is 0.16, and it's 0.59 together. Point five eight, point five nine depending on how you put the bar. So probably what I would do is I would, you know, not lay the bar on top of it, but yeah, 0.58, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, so I know, so I, know I need 145 grams of bittersweet chocolate finely chopped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this bar and see what it is actually, because I really don't know. I'm gonna pretend I don't know. And this is 107, so I might do a mixture. This is 106, 106 actually. Yeah, 106. And this is 74. So I probably could do like a half of the milk chocolate and the Ghirardelli together is probably what I'm going to do. It's your basic Hershey's bar. And since this is dark chocolate and this is um, just regular chocolate, it's going to make a nice mix, I think, of the two. Okay? So now I measured it, so isn't that cool? I just love this. And it's slim digital design, turns on, turns off easily. Um, easy to clean, it's stainless steel, it's just beautiful. So, just in time for the holidays. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a mat, and I'm gonna use my food chopper, and quickly chop this chocolate up. Um, because the food chopper is definitely one of the most handy products you can have in your kitchen been around a long time. It's already kind of broken up, so this will be really easy to do. And again, this is a mint bar, which I think will be really fun for these um, pretzels. And I got my chocolate piece here. And so now I'm just going to do is take the food chopper and I'm just gonna chop up the chocolate really easily. See how easy that is? I mean, fantastic. Her cheese is not going so easily. Hold on, I'm ever gonna break it up. Hershey bar is a little bit thicker. Yeah, for 
For thicker pieces, you probably want to break it up a little bit. Okay, here's all our chocolates. I'm going to take my scraper and just move it aside. Look at all that chocolate. Oh my gosh, these pretzels are going to be so awesome. Okay, I don't know if you chop chocolate yourself with a knife, it takes a lot longer than this. Okay. So now I'm going to just take the chocolate and the cream, and I think I'm just going to put it in the microwave, which is going to be really easy. I could heat it. I might do that. I might do the, do a, heat the cream before it comes to a boil and then pour the, the cream over the chocolate. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so here's my cream. What happened to my cream? I measured my cream out, I thought. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here's my cream. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that up in the microwave. I'm using my same bowl that has the cinnamon in it because I think that's fine. So I'm just going to heat this up for like 50 seconds, I'm thinking. And I'm going to take a look at my pretzels. Whoa, the pretzels are coming along gorgeously. They're browning nicely on the top. I think they don't need a full 20 minutes. I think they're gonna be done soon. So now I'm just gonna take my um, chocolate and just pour it into the bowl and let it mix together. Ooh, here's a nice baked chunk here. Oh, yum. Oh, for me to eat. <laughs> And um, that's it. And that's going to be our other dip. For that, I'm thinking I might use my drizzler. I don't know if it's going to work in the heat or not, but I'm going to try and see if I can do a drizzler. And that chocolate is so yummy. Mm, so good. My pretzels are just about done. So I'm going to move all this out of here. Now, I didn't put more salt on the pretzels. You could, but I didn't. Before putting them in the oven. Okay. Here's my cream. And this is the beauty of the prep mat. I'm just gonna pour all that in there and we're just gonna mix it around. And if it doesn't mix all around, I'll just pop it in the microwave for another couple seconds. I'm gonna be pulling my pretzels out in a few minutes because I think they're pretty much all done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this. And it's going to make like a chocolate ganache kind of thing. Again, I'm using my stainless steel mini whipper. See how that's nicely forming into nice chocolate yumminess. Okay, so we got the cinnamon and we've got the chocolate. Isn't that perfect? How nice is that? I'm going to snap a shot of that just so I have that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull the pretzels out because I think they're done. It says six more minutes, but these pretzels look really done to me. So I got my mitts here. And so it probably takes less time to cook them if you're not doing them on stoneware. So here's my pretzels, you guys. You see they all stayed together. They didn't fall apart, which I'm amazed, given my struggles putting them together. So we're going to let those sit for a minute. I'm going to loosen them up. Let's take a picture of those. And I'm going to take my 
uh, stainless steel spatula, I'm gonna get on my drawer, which would be perfect for this. We have this mini, I'm gonna use this mini. I'm just gonna grab them underneath there and loosen them up. Look at the bottom of them, okay? I might even cook them a little less next time, but that's, oh, over here. That's the pretzel, okay? I'm gonna loosen them up. Because um, stoneware will retain, will retain heat. You could do this on a regular cookie sheet. You don't need stoneware to do this. So I just want to say that because I know we, um, we're waiting on some shipments of stoneware. So you can do this on any kind of a pan you want. You can see how nice and fluffy they are. Oh, you probably can't see that. Um, let me move this a little bit this way. Okay, we'll go there. Okay. So you can hopefully see how nice and fluffy they are. And how easy that was to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take them, move all this out of the way here. I'm going to take them into this butter cinnamon stuff and put chocolate on top of them. But first, I need to taste them. I need to taste a little bit and see how they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Really good. Okay, so, hmm. I have this friend that I used to always go to Giants games with. And one of my favorite things to get at the stadium is a hot pretzel mid-game. Because it'd be so cold. And with some chocolate on it, or cinnamon, and a Bailey's and hot chocolate. This is like my ultimate favorite snack. So, to be able to share this snack with my daughter, sans the alcohol, would be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them on a plate. Um, this is a baker's rack, so actually I'm just going to put them on the baker's rack and then decorate them on a plate. I'm going to take them off here. And this is a stackable rack, stackable cooling rack. So imagine all your cookies you're going to make this holiday season. can just go on there so easily. There's my beautiful pretzels. Um, my stoneware can go right into the dishwasher in a bit once it cools down because the new stoneware can go in the dishwasher. And I use new stoneware for these cookies. Did I use a new one? Yeah, I have a new one and an old one. I use the new one. I use both because I want to see what would happen. So answer is it doesn't stick, so that's perfect. So I'm going to take a pretzel off, and I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in this. I probably need to get some more butter on it to get it to stick. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drizzler here and see if I can fill it with chocolate. I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll see. Here's a little with some chocolate. Anyway, you get the idea. I got one. Nice little pretzel here. Probably what I need to do is take this out and um, drizzle it that way. You don't even have to drizzle it. You could dip the pretzel in here if you wanted. Okay. This has a stand so it doesn't leak all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on here and just show you how the drizzler works. With this one. Just drizzle some chocolate on there just so easily. And what a nice holiday treat. And then I'm just gonna like throw the cinnamon mixture on top is what I'm thinking. Just throw some cinnamon on top. 
that nice butter cinnamon mixture. Or when you have all the chocolate on it, just dip it into the cinnamon mixture. That could be another way you could do it. I mean, do it however you want. Like, I'm, I'm not going to get stressed out on the right way to do things, although I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. But it's all about the end result being delicious, I feel like. That's my philosophy and I'm sticking to it. I just think this is a yummy treat. And with that mint in there, it's going to be so good. So yeah, so that's it. So this is a great project to do with your kids. You can see, make these pretzels, um, have them drizzle them with you together. And have some fun. You could even throw some sprinkles on this. You could throw some nuts on it if you wanted. I mean, geez, you guys, the possibilities are en endless. I love this um, cinnamon sugar coats coating though on top. I was thinking I would make cinnamon sugar pretzels, but I just think that these are just gonna be yummy just how they are. So I'm just gonna stick with this. And just drizzle, 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 and throw some cinnamon sugar topping on top. And it's gonna be just so yummy. What a nice treat for the holidays. Um, if you're making these for other people, you probably want to wear gloves. If you're having people at your house, um, just to be safe this holiday season. Let me get some more in here. And I've got a lot of chocolate going on here. So I got a lot. Just like this nice chocolate minty grenache. It's going to be so yummy on these pretzels. Yeah, it's a little messy, but that's okay. Baking, baking can be messy. Okay, now see, that's not pretty. I just think that's so pretty. And then you have chocolate sauce on the side to dip. Okay. And that's just a yummy, yummy, yummy treat. And if you didn't want to do this, you could do, we could do a cheese sauce, like I said, but these ones are gonna be the sweet ones. So I'm just gonna replay a bunch of another plate. You can see what they look like. Again, just gorgeous, easy, simple. I made my own dough. Camper Chef has dough you can buy. No problem. I mean, but look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? How easy was that? We did it in, I mean, total time for making the dough to getting this all done is less than two hours. And and pretty foolproof, I feel like. Um, oh my gosh, I just love this whole mixture going on right here. A pretty full foolproof as far as making them. The pretzels look perfect. They just look gorgeous. And I'm just going to take a picture of them here so they get demolished because I'm sure my daughter's going to come around and my husband's going to be like, oh my gosh, what is that? And there you have a nice treat. Um, you could throw some nuts on top of it, sprinkles. In fact, I'm going to throw a couple sprinkles on it because my daughter really likes sprinkles. So that would be one thing I would do. And yeah, that's it, you guys. That's what I have for you today in the kitchen. Hopefully you enjoyed that and enjoyed me doing something live that I haven't done before. Um, that's how it goes when you do things live. <laughs> it's real. It's real. It's the real, real. Um, and I've never made these pretzels before, so I'm really excited about it, too, because, like I said, hot pretzels is something that I always love to eat at the ballpark. But now I've got ballpark experience. I'm just going to rip off a leg here and dip it into the dip. Oh, look at the mint. Mm. Oh, my gosh. And the cinnamon sugar and the butter. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. Really, really good. Okay. I highly recommend you make these. You can even make them without the pretzel kit. The pretzel kit will make it easier for you using the form. Um, but you can see how easy it is to make them yourself. Make the dough yourself. Make the pretzels yourself. Um, make the mixes yourself and you're all set. Um, the things that I used, I highly recommend. The cinnamon is really great. Um, I really like the mint chocolate in here. I actually wasn't thinking about doing that till this morning. Mm, but it's so good. I think there's a nice little holiday flair to it. Um, 
you definitely want to wrap these pretzels because you don't want them to get hard. Um, and then when you're, you're done, um, probably keep them. Uh, I don't know if you would keep them on the counter or in the refrigerator. I'll have to look that up. I would think you keep them in a refrigerator in a Ziploc bag. It would be my guess is what I would do. So yeah, that's it. Um, again, this would be a great holiday gift for, um, for, uh, for a mom with her kids, you know, a family gift for a grandparent with their grandkids. What a great project to do together. And something that's really easy and foolproof and makes everybody happy at the end. Because who doesn't want to eat one of these delicious, yummy, mess, sweetness pretzels? Oh my gosh. And they're nice and they're nice and soft all the way through. Um, I'm just gonna break one open so you can see. Look at that doughy yumminess. Looks just so good. And it's perfectly cooked. I did. I feel like I did 15 minutes at 400, but my oven was preheated for probably more than an hour. Mm. So know your oven and watch the pretzels. When they start to get browning, like mine did, that's when you want to pull them because that's when they're going to be perfect. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I can't get over how good these are. Mm. Okay, you guys. Um, that's a great gift. Um, oh, the one other thing before I go. Mm. I can't get enough of this. Sugar. I love cinnamon and sugar. I sold 20 of these so far. If you're still interested in it, please let me know. I probably can do one more order um, before Thanksgiving. Um, I got my batter bowls in a couple of days. Shipping at Pampers Chef is five days now. And this is the layer cookie mix. It's called the Holiday Celebration Cookie Mix. Gift is $25. Um, my family and I are making these this week for the ones that we have ordered already. We'll be wearing masks and gloves and being all safe. Um, but the cookies that come from this are absolutely delicious. And there's 10 ingredients in here. So imagine you give this to someone as a gift. It makes three dozen cookies. Imagine you give someone to this, give someone this as a gift and they literally just dump the mix in, add eggs, butter, and vanilla, and they're good to go. Um, you could pair this with this, um, with this mini steel, mainly mini stainless steel, um, uh, spatula. You could pair it with the mix and scrape if they're going to make them, you know, mix them themselves. Um, and those would be some good things. You could, you could pair it with, um, a stainless steel whisk. You know, there's many things that you could pair this with. So this is $25 with all the ingredients in it. And we'll have those available, um, through this week for order. And then after that, I will um, probably like the next week and a half for order. I've already taken 20 orders and I already have my better bowls that arrived in five days. So we're gonna be making those up this week um, to deliver first week of December. Okay, you guys, well, I hope you had um, some fun with me today. Enjoyed my journey of making something for the first time because this is how it'll be for you when you make them for the first time. I'm sure you'll be better at making your pretzels <laughs> shaped right than I was. But my pretzels look great. So however you get there, you get there. Um, I wish you guys a wonderful Thanksgiving. We have so much to be grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for all of you and supporting my business and um, taking time to learn more about Pampered Chef and how we can um, definitely um, upgrade the products in your kitchen and uh, make your kitchen a more joyful experience. Because mm. my mission is to bring joy into your kitchen. Okay, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.